Hey everybody, Goldie here, and uh, we're back with episode two of Goldmine. Um, this one I'm really looking forward to, and I'm actually super excited for, because the character we're looking at is uh, Seth Rollins' The Undisputed Future. And the reason why I'm looking forward to this one so much is because I still don't have him. Um, these 40 shards are all I've managed to accumulate of him in five years. So for me, it's like I finally get a chance to play with the unicorn. Um, even though people can argue that the game has long passed him by. Um, but I wanted to do this one because I know he was a killer for a lot of people at 3 star. And I'm going to do this a little differently. Normally, I would do a 3-star, a 4-star, and a 5-star set. But for this preview, I'm going to focus on the moveset that made him so OP in the past. And just work with the straps, and the medals, and the plates, and the trainers. And do the variations of that on the same moveset. So, I'm sure most of us know, it's green one, double blue. So green one is the straight side kick, 6 MP, deal 16,556 damage and choose 5 gems to make into purple gems. The tornado DDT, 8 MP charge, deal 40,047 damage and make 6 random green gems into purple gems. And then the diving foot stomp, diving double foot stomp, pardon me, 9 MP, Deal 46,032 damage and choose five gems to make into purple gems. So back at three star gold, you would choose, um, make, make a bunch of purple gems. Two choose moves basically kept your opponent down every time. Um, this is his, his preview at five silver. Um, so we'll just take a look at the rest of the moves just to see Apart from the straight sidekick, um, the rest of his moves are high enough damage to constitute a percent medal. So a tier 5 percent would be fairly nice on those. You could do a tier 5 flat green on this. Um, I think for the preview purpose, we're just going to stick with the blue percent. Take a look at the entourage here. So the first thing we're going to run is um, steel for more... Uh, starting green MP, Daniel Bryan for more purple gems, Lacey Evans for more purple gem damage and green gem damage, and Zombie Charlotte Flair to get purple gems on the initial board. Uh, the belt we're going to run because you're basically just chucking out a bunch of gems. Um, we're going to do a Fury build. So we've got a full Fury strap here. Come on. There we go. Full Fury Strap. We're doing a blue percent medal for, it's not entirely maxed out yet, it's level 14, so we have 113% to uh, blue gems, uh, blue moves, pardon me. And uh, the first plate we're going to run is the Honky Tonk Blues plate. Whenever you break three or more green gems, get three blue move points at the end of your turn. Uh, we are going to try a different plate afterwards. I think we'll be more effective, but I wanted to try both. And we are taking a look at the new uh, SummerSlam Road Tours going up against a 5 Silver Roman. Five years in the making. Goldie finally gets to use the Undisputed Future. And I'm going to butcher this. All right. So I have max perks right now. But this is a fairly low charge move um, with level 3 tour perks and steel. It'll be ready to go on turn 1. And that's why he wrecked people back in the old day. Um, actually, I'm going to try to chain some of these. Hmm. 
So we can connect some of the blues. And a green, which would have charged the blues a little more as well. You can see the plate, those threes popped up. God! Uh. Oh lord. That's gotta get fixed. Come on, Scopely, fix your game. That hurts my ears. Alright, so... I guess a couple ways to do this. Use that move to line stuff up. Excellent. And then we'll use this move. And plug stuff in. Three, four. Uh, go there. And go there. And there. There. And somewhere where it's not gonna break or connect. No, 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 no. Damn, I'm out of room. I was trying to destroy the top two and the bottom, almost the bottom two, but now yeah, whatever, let's put that there. Bang! Oh, we got a green match. Bless up. But that's the problem that he's run into now is like, how do you refill that? So, honky tonk blues plate will help if you need to swipe. And you can use the moves to try to chain together blues and greens. You know, do this so you leave blues on the board and then you can cascade everything so that's one approach and then the plate would help i mean we're super lucky that he's not matching his colors to charge his moves he's basically letting us do this Excellent. I guess I'll kind of play it like Triple H when you're doing Stip Day and, you know, put stuff where you want to connect them all. No, no. Go there. And we can go there. And then use this to just plug everything in. So 98,000 on that move with a tier four um, level 14 percentage metal. So definitely helps in terms of uh, move damage. Board goes boom. And you gotta hope for cascades, I guess. All right, now we're gonna be in for it a little bit, I think. Let's take that, plate kicks in. I definitely think the glowing phantom plate will be the plate, but wanted to run the honky tonk blues because I know that's what a couple of faction mates use because they don't have a phantom plate. But I think that one would be the way to go. And possibly even switching to like a half armor, half fury to like help keep them down after hitting these 
big board go boom things. I think that's going to be what we try next. Excellent. And yeah, we can just use that one and finish the match. And you're pinned. And that little thing's gonna pop up and annoy me. There it is. All right, Honky Tonk Blues Plate, usable. Definitely don't think it's ideal though. So let's, um, we're gonna keep the move set and we're gonna tweak the belt and we're gonna try this again. All right, so we're gonna run it back. We're going to keep the same move set, the same trainers, the same coaches, but I have tweaked the belt. So, We've swapped the Honky Tonk Blues Plate for a Glowing Phantom Power, and I feel like this one's just going to flow a lot better. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three green move points at the end of your turn. So that opens up a bunch of um, possibilities for us to lay, us, uh, lay down some wild cards, and then take a swipe, load the green, take a swipe, load the green, put the gems out on the board again, and just keep doing that. I've also swapped out, um, we're going to do half Fury, so I've kept those two Fury medals on, and then we're going to do half Armor. So I've brought in a 200% Tier 5 um, Armor medal with some Purple Gem damage, and then a level 12 Tier 4, so instead of 30% we're getting 22.5% all Gem damage. We're getting a little bit of blue move damage as well. So let's see how this set fares. So again, ready to go on turn one. And what we're going to do is make a three match and then set us ourselves up a five match. So I'll go there. And then we'll make a five match there. And then we'll kind of scatter the other ones on non-green or purple ones. So we broke the three purple, which means we gain three green. We'll take our wild card. Didn't cascade. Praise the Lord, past the ammunition. And uh, that gives us our green MP back. So here we are, ready to go again. Um, problem is we don't have enough pin bar to repeat that cycle. And uh, we also don't have a uh, blue match. So what we're gonna do is lay these here, break these three greens, and that'll charge by three, and then the three broken purples will charge the green again. And again, we're just gonna like plug stuff in. Don't wanna put them on blues or greens. See with our tour perks, it matched by five, but we're not worried about that right now. We're just trying to focus on what the plate does. And this way, if you don't get any blue matches on the board, you're still able to hit this move like twice at least per turn. So we're going to do the whole thing over again. I don't know if I like that location. I don't think I like any locations for these wild cards, honestly. But okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. And that. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. All right. Three break, charge by three. Of course. Yeah, that board wasn't all that friendly that time. But, uh... Charged and ready to go next turn. Oh yeah, pin bar. Let's see how many times we can get this plate to go off. Mm 
Y'all know me, the queen of overkill. Damn it. I meant to do that. Don't ask why. Oh yeah, totally meant to do it. Meant to do it. See? Charge the green move. Meant to do it. Making us bleed our own blood. See, the beauty of these plates, I see this like every time we're pinned when I'm using an MP plate, is this would charge the green move by three. You'll see the three pop up. It's a beautiful thing. All right, let's just spam the board with purple gems. Can we make the entire board into purple gems? No. Are we going to be close? Yes. Okay. Put that there. Put that there. Hmm. Okay. Excellent. So you see we have like the extra 87%. So instead of 78 and 87,000, we're doing 114,000 and 131,000. So y'all do your stip tours, get the marquee tickets, do your marquees on the weekends, get them medals. I'm telling you, make your life a whole lot easier. How much of this can we do without? All right. That was wimpy. That was wimpy. Boo. Boo. And you took the green. You don't even use green moves. What are you doing? God. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take our lumps here, I think. Have I ever told you about these MP plates? Totally kidding, I know I just did. Okay. So let's do this tactic again where we make a three match, make a wild card. there and there so we know to cover his blast gems we're covering up loot gems i don't care right now charge by three charge by three so this plate is definitely the way to go with him The only problem is that green move damage did not scale well at all. But savable with that plate and a blue percent. I mean, heck, you could substitute steel for a purple gem damage trainer as well. Make you a turn slower. But it would help beef up your purple gem damage. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. One more um, tweak of the build here. All right. Gonna run it one more time. I've tweaked the belt and I've tweaked the entourage. So we took out Zombie Charlotte. We're putting in Acro J for 10% more on the green move because Lord knows that green move needs help 
So instead of 16K, it's 18K. And we swapped out steel for a purple gem trainer. Now, you may be asking yourself, it's zombie month. Why didn't you use Drew? Well, I'll show you if this ever loads. Trickster Rock, the original, not the broken one. 35% uh, more gem damage. Drew, zombie, 2200 flat more damage. And the crossover value is 6,286 per purple gem. And if your purple gem damage is any higher than that, you want to use a 35% trainer. Therefore, 7,700, 35% gem trainer. Also tweak the belt. Uh, we're sticking with Fury, half, um, half Fury, half armor. But again, I would show you if this ever loads. There we go. Keeping the phantom plate, but we're gonna slap on a flat tier four, level 15 armor metal to give us a flat 50K on the green move. Consider we're going to be cycling it multiple times with this plate. So it's at 68,000, not taking into consideration the opponent's move defense. So we're gonna try this spec once and um, then that might be it for Mr. Seth. So we got our purple gems up to 12,498. And we got our green move damage up to 65,000. These are 34 and 39, uh, but that'll help. And with the plate, we're going to take purple match. Very surprised it didn't drop in a five match for the opponent. Very surprised. But now we'll be spamming this a couple times and instead of it being like a mosquito bite, it's gonna be more like a wasp sting. I've never been stung by a wasp. I don't know if that's a good analogy. Is that a good analogy? Let me know. Right, the three break, trigger the plate. The five break, trigger the plate. Excellent. Put that there to chain those blues. Put that there. Drop those. Don't don't do that. Drop those blues. And uh, let's just go up there. Come on. There we go. Blue stacks did not want your girl to record today. All right, three hundred fifty thousand. Decent. I almost screamed. That would have been wild. All right. So we're going to hit this, turn the greens into purples. Excellent. We're going to hit this one first because we're going to use this move to set us up. And then we're going to use this move to chain everything together because that has the higher move damage. Therefore, the pin will be higher. So. Yes, we're trying this again. I'm convinced. We've got the gem damage now and the green move damage. And a half armor, so maybe, just maybe, maybe just maybe. Those are some nice looking purple gems. There we go. There we go. Not even 500k. There we go. We did it. All right.
that worked very well. Put out a decent sized pin. Almost got a full house with TP, which would have been great. Um, but let's summarize Mr. Seth Rollins. That concludes episode two of Goldmine. Seth Rollins, The Undisputed Future at Five Star Silver. Um, let me know if this is a character that you still use quite a bit. Let me know your setups. How are you running him? Um, I received a ton of very positive feedback when I launched this series last week. Uh, thank you all so much. I'm, I'm glad that you are all as excited about this series as I am. I think it's going to be really fun. And I got like 25 suggestions for gameplay at least. Um, so stay tuned to my YouTube channel and my Twitter account. I will be putting up some polls. Um, as for who you want to see next, I've got episode three ready to go. So I will be uh, reaching out to the community for their um, opinion about who episode four should be. And I'll give you two suggestions and I'll let you vote. And then that's who I will do. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.